I run a research program on the unifying theme of converting sunlight into more useful forms of energy. So half my program focuses on converting sunlight into electricity with photovoltaic cells or solar cells. And the other half of my program is focused on converting that electricity that's produced by those same solar cells into fuels such as hydrogen. And what gets me really excited about my work is the fact that I've surrounded myself with really, really engaged graduate students, really excited about what they're doing, trying to find the solutions to questions that other people have not even asked. And so we're able to all collectively build on that excitement and enthusiasm and get into work and really try to find that solution. For those of us that are in the solar energy space, we're confronted with this complication that the sun isn't in the top of the sky 24 hours of the day. There are very few materials for us to actually look at. There are very few materials capable of absorbing sunlight and converting it into electricity in an efficient way. There are very few materials that are efficiently able to convert sunlight directly into fuels. We've been focusing on dye-sensitized solar cells. We effectively coat a substrate with titanium. The problem is, is that it's either white or translucent, and so it's not a very good solar harvesting material. And so what we do is we design dyes that are engineered to actually stick to that white paste and these dyes have a really intense color and they serve the purpose of absorbing sunlight and then the idea here is that we could actually start to incorporate these into say windows on skyscrapers for example. My real dream is to see these skyscrapers in downtown Vancouver and Calgary and the rest of Canada to be a dye sensitized solar cell because now we're starting to generate meaningful amounts of electricity when you're covering that much surface area.